Hey everybody, it's Allie from Padfoot Palms Poodles and Pals. Hey, you get off of there. I'm here with all the dogs to talk about what we took with us to go pick up our poodle puppy. Right, Remy? This is Remedy. <laughs> She's having a fun time playing right now. So let's just do a, a quick little overview. Right, Shazam? He's a good boy. He is a good boy. We're going to do a quick little overview of everything that we took with us. So, first up, we've got the reusable whelping pads. These are perfect to go into the dog bed. And we just grabbed this bed. It's a little bit dirty because Sega got in it with her muddy feet. Um, and what you can do is you can just put either your disposable or your reusable whelping pad over it. And that way, if they get car sick in the car, you can very easily clean it up. So we've got our reusable whelping pads. We've got a harness, a collar, and a leash. Now, the reason why I bring all three, or in this case, both a collar and a uh, harness, is because A, you never know what's gonna fit your puppy, and B, you don't know what they're going to be comfortable with. Um, usually if you're getting a puppy at, you know, anywhere from eight to 10 weeks, depending on how phenomenal your breeder is, they may or may not have ever experienced a harness or a collar. Um, so they, they may be more comfortable with one rather than the other. So um, when we picked up Remedy, she was actually more comfortable in the harness, which worked out because the collar ended up being too big. So that's those. You're gonna need a roll of paper towels. You're gonna need pet wipes. Um, bring something for them to chew on. This is a cow hoof. Um, this was a dog bone that was gifted to us that um, is not the type of bone or chew that I recommend, but it's fine for something like this because they're not really going to chew it up anyway, but it gives them something to focus on. Um, by providing them with a chew, a toy, I don't have the toys here because she's already playing with them. Um, when you bring things to keep their mind occupied, they're less likely to get car sick. We of course have multiple trash bags in case there had been any car, car sickness. Hey, you calm down. Here's the disposable pads over here. And then lastly, we have Capstar. And you can pick this up at um, PetSmart, right? Your local pet retailer. You don't have to get it from the vet. And if you get the one that is approved for puppies, if you pick up your puppy and it's obvious that they are covered in fleas. Now, if there's just a couple of fleas, you can deal with that when you get home. But if for whatever reason you went to pick up your puppy and they were absolutely infested, this kills fleas within 30 minutes of giving the pill. Make sure you read the side effects because it's very important. The other thing you wanna make sure that you do is before you go and pick up your puppy, once you make plans to pick them up and you coordinate with the breeder, you want to make sure that you have a vet visit lined up, preferably within 24 hours of getting your puppy. Now, um, this weekend has been a little bit challenging for that because we picked her up yesterday and today is actually a holiday. So she will be going to the vet tomorrow. So but you really want to go ahead and get that. This really Sega, you're playing with the puppy. You really want to go ahead and get that vet appointment, especially if your breeder has a contract and you want to make sure you look to see in that contract what it states because you may only have a certain amount of time to take the puppy to the vet, otherwise it'll void the health guarantee. So always, always make sure that you very carefully read your contract. If you need um, an extension because of a holiday or something like that, make sure you get that on the contract in writing and you both initial it. So anyway, okay. All right, well, everybody's having a good time here. So I'm gonna jump off of here so she doesn't feel overwhelmed. She's actually doing really, really well. As you can see, she runs around on her own. Hey, 
Hey, Sega, she doesn't want to play with you when you bark at her like that. Sega just gets excited. Okay, all right, we're going to get out of here. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Right, Kennedy? Yeah.